In this video, we are going to look about Five Kingdom classification. First of all, we have to know why, what is the purpose of this classification. The main purpose is to group or classify living organisms. We can simply say it as taxonomy. This Five Kingdom classification was introduced by R. Whitaker in 1969 based on the structure of the cell, mode of nutrition, source of nutrition, reproduction, interrelationship and body organization. The first kingdom is Monera. It is derived from the Greek word monaris, which means single. The cell type is it is unicellular prokaryotic, which means it is primitive. Some cells have cell wall, but most of the cell lack cell wall. The mode of nutrition is autotrophic or heterotrophic, which means they can produce their own food or it may depend on the other organisms for their food. The best examples are bacteria, cyanobacteria and mycoplasma. The second kingdom is protista, derived from the Greek word protistos. So it means the very first organisms, so which means more primitive. The cell type is unicellular and it is eukaryotic. So you can see it, the previous uh, kingdom is more uh, prokaryotic and it is eukaryotic. The mode of nutrition is autotrophic and heterotrophic, which means they can produce their own food or depend on other organisms. Some organisms have appendages such as cilia or flagella or pseudomucoria for locomotion. The best examples are diatoms, pro protozoans like amoeba and paramecium. The third kingdom is fungi. It is derived from the Latin word fungus, but the origin of word is from the Greek word sponges, which means sponge. The cell type is multicellular and eukaryotic. So you can see from unicellular, we have developed into a multicellular. So, and the main important feature is they have cell walls, which is made up of chitin. So mostly the cell wall will be, will be made up of cellulose, but in the fungi it is made up of chitin. And the mode of nutrition is heterotrophic, which means they depend on other organisms. Mainly they can be saprophytic and symbiotic. Saprophytic means they uh, grow on dead and decaying organisms and they can also be symbiotic association with some blue-green algae. Example yeast, mushroom, aspergillus and etc. The fourth kingdom is plantae, derived from the Latin word planta, which means vegetable or sprout. The cell type is eukaryotic multicellular and the cell wall is made up of cellulose. The mode of nutrition is autotrophs, which means they produce their own food using photosynthesis mostly. The plantae is further classified as gymnosperms, angiosperms, pteridophyte, thalophyte and bryophyte. Examples are spirogyra, ferns, pines, mango plant and each and every type of plant around us. At last, the most advanced group of kingdom is animalia, derived from the word animalis meaning having breath. So the cell type is multicellular, eukaryotic, no cell wall. So as the kingdom developed, the animalia kingdom has no cell wall and it is heterotrophic which means it's purely dependent on other organisms for their food. They also exhibit greater diversity, specialized tissue differentiation and body organs. So the animal kingdom is divided into many phyla and classes. So the advantages and disadvantages of this classification is first we shall look about advantages. Importance given to the microorganisms and fungi. So before this classification there was no such kingdom called fungi but uh, in five kingdom classification a separate uh, kingdom was given for fungi and many uh, microorganisms are classified clearly. Widely accepted system of classification and disadvantages are not sufficient specialization for kingdom protista. So the protista is not specified clearly. And the second disadvantage is there is no place for virus. So you can see viruses also plays an important role in our ecosystem but it has no place in this kingdom. So the simple overview is you can classify the organisms as prokaryotes and eukaryotes. In prokaryotic unicellular there will be monera kingdom. In eukaryotic unicellular they will be having protista kingdom. And coming to the multicellular uh, prokaryotes, the with cell wall and without cell wall. In with cell wall, there is a, uh, which per, do not perform photosynthesis or fungi and which perform photosynthesis or plant. In the without cell wall, the kingdom animalia is placed. So in this video, we have looked about overview of high kingdom classification. Thank you. If you love this video, please like it, comment your opinions on the comment section, please share it with your friends and family, especially students, and most importantly, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Follow us on the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and the link of the pages in the description. Please do check it. Bye.